Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be testing out the new Revolution Concealers. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer. If you would like to join me in this video, then please consider subscribing and all you have to do is keep on watching. A little bit less than an hour to film this part of the video and get out of the house so I'm gonna be diving right in I got the concealer in two shades C 9.5 and C 10.9 10.9 is actually a new shade for them I'm going to be swatching them on the back of my hand to show you the colors uh, 10.9 is very very dark I did not expect it to be this dark so this is 10.9 and then this is 9.5. All right, so I've swatched C12 and C10 from the regular concealers uh, right next to them. And as you can see, C12 is here, C10 is here. Those two, both of them are pretty neutral uh, compared to these two. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna apply my foundation. For the sake of this video, I'm going to be using my Conceal and Define foundation. I really love this foundation. I have it in 9.5 and 11.2. I'm somewhere between these two shades. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it and I'll be right back. The foundation is on. I also put my hair out of my face. So I am gonna try the 10.9 just to see what it's gonna do. I mean, I can already see it's way too dark. I'm pretty bummed out about it because I was very excited that they had a new shade. Uh, as I apply it on my face, I can see that it, it is very olive and nobody corrects with olive, but <laughs> I am today. This is a 10.9 versus a no concealer. As you can see, it is way too dark for me. It makes no damn sense right now. And I'm dropping everything, which is nice too. I feel like I sound like a dude. <laughs> I just uh, woke up not too long ago and I don't know what's going on with my voice. So now I'm gonna go in with the 9.5 and keep you guys zoomed in to see this part. So yes, this would be a good concealer shade for me. Oh wow. You see a right shade makes all the difference in the world. Look at that. It feels really nice and creamy it is. A very matte formula it definitely feels different than the original conceal and define I have not tried the hydrate one because I have oily skin combination oily skin but this looks really nice the coverage is I mean a look at the difference between the two sides mm -hmm. it looks really really nice really nice okay i'm gonna apply one more layer just you know for the video of it all oh absolutely right off the bat i mean i feel like this is going to be the concealer for me for a very long time i mean i still don't know how it's gonna wear but just seeing it like this it is getting me all kinds of excited this oh, this hair this is the difference from afar yes the difference is very there i am very happy about this coverage so i do definitely feel like i applied way too much concealer i feel like this concealer does not need you to apply this much i was trying to apply some concealer on my eyelids just with what's left on the sponge but i don't get a lot of color payoff on my eyelids i mean there is something there but it's not like other concealers that you have a lot left on your sponge and this to me means that this concealer sets really fast like it dries I am setting my eyes with the Benai Banana Powder. I always use this powder whenever I'm trying new products out because I know that the powder does not crease on me. So if it does crease, I know it's not a powder, but the new product. Um, I think I'm gonna set this side just with a brush and then I'm gonna bake the other side to see if that makes a difference or not. All right, guys, so I have finished the rest of my face this is what everything is looking like i must say that i i, I feel kind of cute but also i feel a little bit cakey and a little bit dry i did spray my face a lot 
uh, and it is looking a little bit better but I kind of feel a little a little deserty and a little cakey but I'm gonna zoom you guys in real quick to let you see so this is what my under eyes are looking like this side has been set with a brush this side has been baked with a sponge and I don't feel like one side is drier than the other nope nope they look the same so yes now i'm gonna go about my day and i'm gonna come back later to let you see how everything is wearing one eternity later oh my god i cannot believe how my face is looking right now this is crazy i'm like who is this girl I mean, I know I have oily skin, but the situation around my nose is crazy. It has been a long time though. I finished my makeup at 12 p.m. and right now it is. Yeah, so it's 11.30 right now. That means that I've been wearing this face for 11 and a half hours, which, I mean, this face is expired. <laughs> I don't even want to zoom you guys in because this is crazy. Okay, let's do it. I don't know how well you can see the situation around my nose right now, but in all seriousness, it's the worst that i've ever seen it in the 29 years that i live like this is crazy i've never seen my oil around my nose get this crazy now i have the conceal and define foundation on and then i have the concealer which i don't have here damn it i have the concealer underneath my eyes and also around my nose you see so i'm like So yeah, the situation around my nose is absolutely ridiculous, okay? But let's just, let's, let's look at my under eyes. My under eyes look the total opposite. <laughs> they look so dry, I do not understand. So I did mention before I left the house that I was feeling cute, but a little dry, you know, a little deserty and i still feel a little dry underneath my eyes i mean i feel like it has enhanced the texture a little bit underneath there and it is looking very dry it did not crease at all i mean no no creasing not on the brush setting side and not on the sponge baked side um, it's not creasing at all, but it is looking a little dry, so hence why it's not creasing. So yeah, I really, at this point, I'm not really sure what to think about this concealer. I mean, the coverage was bomb. The color, not so much. Like, the 10.9 is way too dark for me. The 9.5 is actually a good color, but I would like to have a lighter color to highlight with that. I do really like the concealer, like how it was looking when I just blended it out. It was beautiful. I am just confused with the situation around my nose and the situation underneath my eyes being so dry. I am not going to give this concealer a total thumbs up. I'm going to keep my thumb like somewhere in the middle so that it could still go either way. Since it is a very affordable concealer, I don't mind working for it a little bit, like working with it a little bit. And also because the coverage is absolutely amazing. I'm going to use blotting paper just to see how bad this is. I mean, it's bad, but okay, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Are you ready? that look at that stain this is so crazy oh my god that's so nasty oh damn and i can see some on top of the piece of paper as well wow this piece of paper really does work i've never tried this before nasty look at the difference look at the difference that is crazy. Okay, let's do the other side. 
I mean, damn. Damn, 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 bitch. This is so nasty, but low-key, I <laughs> kind of like it. That's so disturbing. Like, you know, it's kind of like the people that like to watch Dr. Pimple Popper. I mean, I cannot, okay? I, I tried. I watched it, like, once. I was like, mm-mm, can't do it. I can't watch that shit. But this is, like, low-key, high-key. <laughs> very satisfying or something look at that oh hell nah oh my nose is insane look at that bitch oh my god what the hell <laughs> okay that was disgusting so my face does look a lot a lot better but i mean like i said this face is expired y'all it looks beyond saving like this this cannot be saved anymore so it was fun you know to blot it with this paper just to see how bad it is i mean i can still get a lot off of this face i have enough oil to fry a few eggs and then some like it's crazy all right guys so that was it for this video i really hope that you guys liked watching it i hope that you found it helpful if you didn't please show that by hitting that like button comment down below if you have this concealer and you happen to have my skin type which is combination oily skin although today as you can see it is primarily oily <laughs> definitely subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of my future videos Thank you so, so, so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next one.